arrest two Glens Falls residents, saying they found more than one pound of cocaine in According their possession. To his friends and even prosecutors, this was the side of Wilhelm driven by addiction. They are truly heartbroken to learn this. There news. are two Denny Wilhelms, one who is kind and helpful, the other who is at the mercy of his addiction. He's headed to prison for nine and a half years. Addiction is a monster, a ruthless monster that attacks full force, destroys, kills. It doesn't pick and choose the victims it takes. If only it were that simple. As simple, say, as an insult, a Facebook post, cruelty or a cast of judgment, kicking those that are already down, spreading negativity, giving hate when this world so desperately needs compassion. Certainly not that simple. If someone is in need, are you there? When someone is desperate for your hand, do you help them up? Or do you use your strength to shove them further into the depths of their darkness? I get it. Addicts chose this life. They chose to try drugs. They chose to drink alcohol. Now they pay the price. Have you ever made a poor decision? Lied to a friend, made a mistake, drank a glass of wine, used a painkiller? Probably. But dealing with consequences of a bad decision isn't so bad when it's temporary. We're human, live and learn, then move on, right? Addicts don't get that freedom, the freedom to choose, and they never will. But at least addiction only affects the weak-minded, the less fortunate people, the broken homes, mentally ill, dirty, homeless, low lives, the lonely, miserable, and rejected. Wrong. It attacks our family, our best friends, our favorite athletes, our presidents, role models, teachers, daughters, fiancés. The ones we love the most. And they are all just people. Human. They're everywhere, and their struggle surpasses what our normal minds will ever be able to comprehend. We will never know. We will never know what it's like to have a daily mental battle, a violent war on the inside that is in constant motion, fighting to defeat us, yet can never truly be won. We will never know the shame, anxiety, guilt, pain, pure suffering, a living hell, an agonizing need for a release, thinking irrationally, defying morals, living as someone else, being driven by demons, trapped in your own body with no escape, hoping there's a light, but it's so hard to find. How lucky we are that we will never know. When darkness takes over, Be the light.